I, I would have to say any one of your ilk must have had the most self-discipline possible. How disciplined were you as an athlete? That's oh, okay. So the, the public answer is, oh, we're all very disciplined. But, you know, you look back on your career, especially as a swimmer or a non-revenue athlete sport person, right? And you go, I could have done all these things better, right? So I... Did I get enough rest? Yes. Could I have gotten more? Absolutely. Could, could I have eaten better? A hundred percent. Yeah. There were days when I would just eat a dozen bagels, you know, a pound of sliced turkey and 19 power bars, and that would be good enough because I figured I'd survive the day. Um, I didn't know what an antioxidant was until I was running in my 30s when we had our first child, <laughs> and I read Runner's World magazine. I was like, oh, my God, almonds and blueberries are so good for you. Who knew? Who so. Knew? Yeah, and all that stuff has changed now. I think the athletes and the, the information they have at their fingertip disposal is unmatched. I mean, you can wear a you know a ring or an Apple Watch or whatever, an Aura ring, and you get instant feedback. You know, your, uh, I forget, oh, whoop, right? You, you know how well you rested. You know what your recovery score was. All that stuff just on your rest, right, and, and your heart rate information. And pair that with mental training. Right. I didn't do it. I know I didn't do enough of that. We did some in high school and I remembered some visualization, you know, strategies that we did, um, but not nearly to the level that, of what people are doing today and, and what your program, you know, teaches. I, athletes. I, I think the, the concentration part, what you're saying is the good news, all this information. The bad news is there's a lot of information that oh, doesn't yes. do anything for you. And kids today, uh, I mean, the average mindset right now to hold your focus is about eight and a half seconds. That might even be lower. Yeah. You know, growing up, it was probably 20 seconds for we didn't have any outside distractions in 70s and 80s. Uh, and you had less. But, you know, from 2000 on, uh, the information overload is just climbing higher and higher. And that brings us back to how do you coach your kid to greatness after right. what you went through? And, of course, your wife, you know, she was a national champion, uh, you know, beat the number one player in the world. She, she's got a, a pretty amazing record. So here's two champions coming together, raising two boys. In a, one's in golf, Fletch, highly competitive. Now he's looking to make his mark on the pro tour. And you've got Ty, uh, your youngest, who's, uh, you know, he's at Oklahoma State tennis. He wants to make his mark. Did you all have discussions about how do we coach our kid to greatness and how can we teach them things we didn't know? Or how did that go? That is the tiniest moving target you can possibly imagine, right? There's there's no book on it. There's no manual, right? So I think that every parent struggles with getting their kids to do what they feel is the best thing for their kid to do in any given moment at any given age, right? So you have to figure that out. Um, I think a lot of the principles that the score system and, and, and what zone coaching does are incredibly beneficial. I wish I, we would have kind of jumped on that you know, years ago when they were a lot younger to help guide our kids from a, from an earlier age. Um, and she's been trying to get her kids, her kids, our kids to be world-class decision makers for as long as they've been on earth. So, and it's a struggle, like you said, you know, managing the electronic distractions and every other distractions is something that we didn't have to deal with. Uh, it's, it's great to have your phone. If you want to ask, you know, I don't want to say Siri cause my phone will wake up, but if you want to ask, you know, that little entity a question, they'll answer it right away. You don't want to know an obscure baseball stat. Boom, there it is. You don't have to track you on down to the, you know, the library and, and look it up in an encyclopedia or find a bunch of books in a section in the library to, to get the answers you need. All that stuff is accessible, which I think you're, you're, now you're getting that immediate gratification, which we all love. But it, it takes some of that work ethic and kind of pushes it to the back burner, which is not great. It, it really does.